Well, we've got an absolute barn burner of a game here between the A's and the Nationals. 84 wins combined between the two teams. And people have said to me, you know, the great thing about baseball is any time you go watch a game, you might see something you've never seen before. Well, check. I've never seen this before in my life. Put in the comment section below if you've ever seen it. I haven't seen this at my 10-year-old games. We get a comeback right here to the mound. Pitcher starts to jog over, going to flip, going to touch the bat, going to do neither. And the Nationals beat the throw out. I don't know what was going through the head of the pitcher. Obviously nothing. Now, the only thing I guess I can assume here is that the pitcher just thinks the runner's going to give himself up, I guess. And you see the runner starting to run here. He's just kind of jogging out of the box, right? So he's jogging. And then right here, right here, for some reason, he turns it on and beats him to the bag. But what did the pitcher assume the base runner was going to do? I know in the big leagues, a lot of times on these routine balls, guys just kind of jog the entire way. But all you have to do literally is, is you jog the ball here and then right here, you know, first baseman's on the bag, just flip them the ball. Like, what are we doing? Why are we running still? I, I've, ne- I've never, ever seen this before. Look, look, this might be the best part of the video right here. Look at the first base coach. He just won the World Series. So excited, which I love the passion. But the funniest part is that, again, the base runner's just... You know, he's just jogging, jogging, jogging. Now he's going to sprint and beats it. Just unbelievable. I don't know what to say. Please let me know if you've ever seen something like this before. I've actually seen in a college game a really odd play, too, where the pitcher flips to the first baseman who flips it back, who can't get there. But I don't think I've ever seen a ball hit back to the pitcher, and he just runs it over to touch the base, and then just forgets to keep running. I don't know. I guess this is what happens to 33-win teams, but rough day at the ballpark. Lesson for today, if you're the hitter, always run hard. This is a good example of that. Even though we jogged a little bit at the beginning, always run hard. Never know what can happen. Good things can happen if you play the game hard, if you run hard. And if you're the pitcher, again, please just, just, I don't care, jog the ball over, and then just underhand flip it from right there. Because if you can't underhand flip the ball 30 feet, well, then you can't play in the big leagues or little league. So that's all I have. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And I need more of this out of my first base coach right here. This is good stuff right here. It's fun to be a first base coach. That's all we got. We'll talk to you later.